Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Wow. The very first card here you have, Jan. And I saw these cards. It's certain decks that I only use. But, like, I was talking about this Jan magic stuff. Like, these, you know, shapeshifters. Um... Somebody here could have done like Jen magic as a part of some type of ritual, but I feel like you were protected from whatever this situation is. A lot of you, like I said, there's some type of awakening happening and this card says raising wind. So wherever you are, there could be really high winds at this time. Somebody has possibly been sending you like the evil eye for sure, but I feel like somebody here, you're calling on your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors. There's been some kind of connection that has been made. And there is a power that is coming with, within you that is being released out at the same time that this dark energy is being released by those people who are of, you know, very low um, vibrations. You have here witches wounds. It says remedy, magical medicine, sacred heart, and another day. Hmm. I just feel like you guys are finding the remedy to a situation. Waters, wisdom, intuition, and hermit's light. So yeah, we're, Virgo season just started. The hermit energy, you're discovering some type of truth. And again, these, these truths, they are very harsh. Some of them, they're harsh and they're hurtful. But it's a discovery that you needed to find in order for you to actually have peace in your life. In order for you to understand what's important and what's not. A lot of people have been holding on to people, places, things, and situations from the past. And the truth is like... God is like, this situation has become such a heavy burden for you that you need to be hurt with the truth for you to fully let it go. And now you're moving into another cycle where to really usher in the new blessings, you're still going to have to forgive. That's where the real test comes in. That's why I say sometimes, even in relationships, that relationship that you have, the healthy one after all of those really toxic relationships it is the easiest because now you're moving into this this new earth this new world this new timeline dimension realm whatever you may want to refer to it as where you have to actually be at peace with yourself despite everything that has happened that could have turned you mean and nasty and and rude you know I said earlier, misery loves company. These people, that's what they wanted. They wanted to turn your heart cold, but that's, they weren't able to accomplish that. Um, because what happened is you just were able to pretty much master yourself. Here's that telekinesis card. Yeah, some of you here I was picking up earlier too. And there are so many different things that I receive spiritual downloads from. I don't share half of them, but... Um, with Mercury being in retrograde, you can expect for a lot of people to be tampering with like electronic devices, you know, TVs, all of our stuff now is controlled by Wi-Fi. Anything pretty much that Wi-Fi can control, the TV, the phone, laptops or, or whatever, you can expect people to really, really be trying to tamper with different devices to try and trick you. They're utilizing these different gen sp spirits, demonic spirits, entities or whatever to, to come into your home or around you to try and trick you okay these are a lot of scare tactics being used okay but you guys could be receiving visions about different things this card says songbirds and it has it says hex breaker sound healing final goodbye and release okay so for some of you like um Whatever these dark energies are, you're about to be able to, to, to say your final goodbye, meaning you're some type of hex breaker. You're a very powerful um, spiritual being of some sort. This is a final goodbye to some type of karmic situation. I think the reading that I actually posted yesterday or the day before, I said this is the end of a never ending story. There was a very, very beautiful prediction in there about like a like a twin flame union coming but many of you you had to clear away all of this this toxic trauma and karmic just debris 
that has been lingering for a long time in order for you to have space. Also, for some of you, these situations that are coming up in these readings with the, the plots and the schemes and the black magic, bad juju, whatever, some this is stuff that has already happened, but because of how you have held on to the emotions um, and that lack of forgiveness and the resentment, which is natural, I'm not trying to minimize how you feel at all. It is how the enemy is still able to attack you. And again, it's so much easier said than done to say, oh, well, yeah, I forgive. But another person that you have to forgive that's more important um, than your enemies is yourself. You have to forgive yourself for wanting to have peace and some type of perfect harmony with people who were your enemies like in the bible joseph it was his own family who betrayed him a lot of you your family members your friends your lovers those are the people who betrayed you not strangers the people that you have helped the people that you've been there for the people that you have lived in the house with you've traveled with the people who have been around your partners and your children those are the people who have been literally in your face trying to destroy you okay and that's just part of the design of you getting out of the matrix and when you really start to just see situations at face value and take your feelings out of it i said that in the reading earlier you, you can't always be in that queen of cups loving caring kind energy you, you should always be that person but you also have to be like the queen of swords very analytical very objective very logical in your your approach being very highly intelligent about people i feel like this spiritual battle for a lot of people has been for sure about emotional intelligence and that is the reason why the shadow work is so important because when you start to really heal your inner child you will stop giving chances to people you you won't have a problem with having boundaries up but you will also not feel the need to be so paranoid and need so much protection that you literally build a wall around yourself where there is nothing that can get to you. Earth Mother. It's, this says Psychic Recharge. So yeah, um, Virgo season right now for some of you, this is a good time. Earth Energy Virgo season. Um, and and my a good friend of mine just talked to me the other day about things happening astrologically and she she mentioned she said I asked her I said why is there so much deja vu why does it seem like all of these stories are just constantly repeating and she said this is like the third retrograde that was in an earth sign you know earth is very grounded it's stable it's fixed it doesn't change you know a lot of earth signs they're creatures of habits so for several mercury retrogrades that we've experienced over the last you know few years that have been in earth signs that's why these situations they keep coming up for some of you you specifically have an earth sign that keeps coming up in your energy earlier there was um like a virgo feminine and a capricorn masculine that has been coming up in the readings i mean for years so it's really shedding light on the different situations that you've had either you could be that energy not saying that you're you know in a in a bad energy or you're dealing with like those particular signs you know taurus capricorn virgo there could be a lot of karmic situations involving earth signs that keep coming back like back around and i feel like spirit is finally saying now no you have to get rid of this because you're being depleted your psychic um gifts talents and abilities they need a recharge therefore whatever this is it's these energy vampires that are draining you it has to be pushed out of your energy you have to give something a final goodbye this here says snake skin information secrets senses yeah mugwort dreams rhythm higher self reality rest mugwort is really good too if you um are doing anything like with any type of dream work the, the um, actual herb this card says information this one says higher self 
So for some of you, if, if someone has been like invading your dreams or anything like that, your dreams are going to come back. Psyche recharge, information secrets, your dreams are going to provide you with information. <laughs> Pyrokinesis, I don't know what that is, but it says rage, revolution, attention, and debate. Like I said, there's going to be things that could be revealed to you in the dream state even. Secret seances, spirit world, messages, assistance, and memories. I feel like your spiritual team, they're in a total rage about what's happening to you here in the like this 3D reality. Closing circle, pure intent, sacred doors. Yeah, they don't like the experiences that you're having. Because this is mirror magic. I feel like for some of you, you're constantly having to go through a past life situation. And your spirit team, they're tired of you having to repeat some type of list of, you know, your soul remembers this, but I feel like somebody here, you've been fighting so hard to get out of whatever this karmic cycle is, but it's, it's a past life component to it. Astral travels. Some of you literally, you have different entities that are astral traveling to you. Like energies that have been trying to connect with you and hurt you harm you shut you up silence you or whatever from 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 very from various past timelines and past lives hollowed heart veneration sensuality gentleness nakedness astral travel somebody here you could be learning to astral travel but i think that there has definitely been different energies astral traveling to you um for some of you you could have had some type of experience even with like incubus succubus like energies different things trying to connect with you especially when you are asleep and this is why maybe this has gone undetected or you haven't really known exactly what to do in the situation because it's something that has possibly been attacking you when you have been unconscious. Salamander, creative work, infinite wisdom, alchemy. Drawing down the moon, divine feminine, source, channel, stillness, yeah. Some, something either was or has been trying to tamper, tamper with your sacral chakra with your divine channel this says bridget it says psychic flames druid magic 333 you know i don't really know about druids and jens but you guys can look that up i feel like right now that there's definitely been some type of magic being used and druids and jens could be significant let me see something here And I don't know why, like, this is a deck that I only use when I need help with something that may kind of be related to magic. And this isn't even, like, some of you guys have been gifting me so many of the decks from my Amazon wishlist. I really appreciate it. I have some um, different decks now that specifically talk about, um, like, different forms of magic, and I'll use them. Right now, I'm really, I'm a little bit tapped out, honestly, and I'm not even shuffling because it's really, it's late and I'm tired. But it's it's funny because Spirit will kind of tell me sometimes to like just pull cards and they show me this deck um, and I'm just pulling cards and the cards in whatever order they're in, it's like they're kind of just telling a story. But let's see if they tell me anything in this book about Druid magic because I don't know what that is. I'm going to look up Druid Magic and Jen. Some of you guys really may, you may know what it is. Let's see. When it comes to the, the magic stuff, y'all, I'm just not, I don't know about, I don't know. Don't get it twisted, though, because I know people listen to my channel, but oh, she doesn't know about magic. My ancestors, they, they'll eat you up every time. So don't, don't, I'm telling you now, save yourself. <laughs> Stop thinking because people don't do magic that you won't get tossed up because you will. I would tell you to ask some people, but they can't speak for themselves anymore. So 
I'm just going to put that out there for you, just in case you get any silly ideas. Okay, so it's not telling me what druid magic is here in the book. It just mentions it. Okay, it says, when Bridget was still a babe, a druid witnessed three fire angels anointing the child with oil and sprinkling her body with holy water. The druid took her in and raised her own milk from a magic cow. What is druid magic? It seems like it's something that I need to know. Druid magic. What are druids? Druids and jinns. Jinns. Druid and Shin. Druid and Shin. Supernatural creatures, spirits, and ghosts. Its origin is an ancient word that is meant to conceal or to hide. Well, I mentioned that... Um, It's not a water spirit. One of an ancient Celtic priesthood appearing in Irish and Welsh sagas and Christian legends as magicians and wizards. What, pow what powers do Druids have? Druids have power over nature and can cast spells that can cause twisting briars to spring from the earth and entire forests to appear or bring mighty winds to blow away their enemies. Didn't we have something up here before? About, yeah, raising winds. Um, so the very first card that came out was Jin. Okay. Let's see. Are Druids good or evil? It says Druids can be protectors of nature. They can exploit nature for their own goals. They can protect the balance between nature and civilization or anything else. They can be evil, they can be good, and they can be neutral. It depends on how you want to play yours and what your concept is. What type of magic is a druid? It's an elemental magic. It draws from the earth, air, fire, and water in various forms. Its power is enhanced or weakened by the strength of the user. So some of you, a lot of this stuff that has been happening is these are these cults and, you know, different secret societies or whatever who have been using jinns, druids, um, elemental magic. These are high level wizards, magicians, uh, warlocks whatever they've been doing all of this different stuff and yeah the pisces full moon is coming up something and I, I say this all the time i don't care what kind of witch uh you are especially the dark ones when you're going up against a natural born high priestess meaning they come from a, a long lineage of high high ranking priests priestess shamans or whatever you you doing the 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 darkest magic is not going to work on that. I'm not saying that nothing will work, but you're gonna be up for quite a battle with that person. Hidden familiars, yeah, jinns, familiars, druids, all this different stuff. These people have been doing a lot, right? These different incantations, yeah. But you're protected from this. This says Florida waters. Florida could be significant. Potions. Like, I mean. Mm -mm. Ancestors, family survival, death, worship, power, strength, expansion, drawing down the sun, divine masculine, wildfire. And this card says magnificence and witness. I keep telling you guys, there's a divine masculine out here. Who is awakening? Some of you, there's a divine masculine. They know about what's going on. Some of you, you have a divine masculine. Um, I don't know. Maybe in a past life, they could have been into some type of magic. Some of you literally in a past lives, you were priests or high priests or um, 
wizards, magicians or something. And people are trying to make you use your gifts or bad things. But the thing it's just the same with an angel, you know, any type of spirit can be neutral as an angel can be an avenging angel. An, an angel can really hurt you. An angel can be very scary. And that's what people forget. Security and the hermit. Yeah. Expansion, stability. The number three is very significant. Some of you now, you're secure. You're free from whatever type of bondage this is that someone keeps trying to inflict upon your life. Because as you go within and you heal and you grow and you remember who you are, where you came from, and why you're actually here, you're constantly expanding. Your stability, you're becoming more stable. Yeah, somebody wanted you to be spellbound, but you're actually releasing this energy and you're getting an alignment. You have clarity, and with this clarity, it's allowing you now to stand firmly on what your beliefs are. And look at the very this card here. It literally says, respect, survival, liberation, and freedom. Yeah, so I just think, you know, a lot of you, you're, you've done an incredible job with whatever this spiritual battle is. It's going to continue to get better, um, but just make sure that even as you hear about the injustices done, um, I for sure continue to seek justice. Um, I hope that you get the clarity and the confirmation that you need, but never forget the importance of the, the, the forgiveness, because if you hold on to the pain, the situation is just going to keep repeating itself. I'm going to pull a few of the tarot. I have this magic of you Oracle here. I may pull I'm going to pull a few of those at the end. Look at this, the devil and the chariot. You're moving away from whatever this is, whatever type of dark spirit, dark energies, trickster spirits or whatever that has been sent towards you. The same Capricorn and Leo energy is popping up. You're moving past this. For some of you, this is like I mentioned before, some type of karmic couple. These people, these people were contracted in this lifetime to bother you because they like these are people who've been hunting you down from other lifetimes. Wow, the Empress came out. So some of you get the divine feminine. Two of Wands, Eight of Wands. Wow, look at that. Two of Wands. Somebody is taking action towards the Divine Feminine. They're coming at you very quickly here. Two of Cups and the Six of Wands. Yeah. You have news, communication, or someone traveling towards you very soon that wants to offer you equal give and take. Some of you are about to get some type of promotion or proposal or an offer um, with your job. I feel like this is going to help you to become more stable, more secure. Nine of Pentacles is here. The world card, this is elevation. I said in the post earlier, especially like this Pisces full moon that's coming up. It's like a celebration for the for the priest and the high priestess. It's like graduation for you. So naturally you're about to get some type of spiritual inheritance. Yeah, the world card, with the world card being here, there's some kind of life lesson here. You've completed something that was meant to be a life lesson. Six of Cups. You're receiving some kind. Yeah, in the Justice card here, the Page of Swords. You're you're getting the truth and the clarity that you need about some type of old situation, possibly from a past um, connection, a past life, or even you know. Yeah, I mean, a past. It could have been something that happened in your childhood or in a past relationship, friendship, something with a karmic soulmate from your past. But the situation is being balanced out. Wow. Yeah, because it's time for you to have the four ones. It's time for you to have some kind of celebration in your life where you can be happy. The King of Cups is here, the Strength card and the Temperance. King of Cups, that's a very loving, faithful, devoted person when in a good energy. The Temperance card is here. This is balance. It's alchemy. It's peace. It's harmony. So, yeah, you have good karma coming. I feel like right now, um, even how I feel right now, you're tired. You're exhausted. The four of swords, you need to take time out to rest, to retreat, and to recharge. Because the star is here. There is healing with the star. Wish fulfillment. I'm so tired. I just had that message kind of on my heart before I, 
I go to bed. Let's see what comes out in this magic of you, Oracle. I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> And I just want to say too, um, because I was I was sitting there. <laughs> Some of the, like the readings today, it really it drained me. Um, but I saw a few of you, uh, several of you guys actually um, have sent me like donations, and I don't really get donations. Like when I heard the cash out thing, it kind of scared me for a minute. But thank you. <laughs> I just want to say thank you because um, I am pulling out more and more new decks. You guys can notice. Every day I'm trying to use new decks because you guys have gifted me decks and I really appreciate it. I have a lot of oracles and I think the oracles are good for us to get more to the spiritual guidance. I'm, the situations that come up in tarot, some of the storylines have been coming out so long. I just want to start doing more oracles, um, just more intuitive messages. Protection is here and serendipity and resilience burn away with the past burn away the past it says resilience and serendipity which is just what i finished saying merge with the flow it's certain things they just happen because it was meant to happen the way that it happened at the time that it happened you have to accept this you have to forgive it remember that you are protected some of you it is true that someone has tried to sacrifice you possibly multiple times this could have happened to you in a past life okay and then you have here doable so whatever you want to accomplish in your life it is doable you have the protection to do it you've proven yourself with this um resilience that you can absolutely move forward you have 26 27 wow 26 27 and 28 is here and then 30 and here's the number four hold on What was because I know some stuff was going on in April because now I have 426, 427, 428, and 430. Those dates could be of significance for somebody that will be around tourist season. I just want to know what was going on. So, May 1st, the Pluto retrograde began. So, we had a partial lunar eclipse in May 5th. So somebody could have tried to do some magic like at the end of April. And yeah, then that partial lunar eclipse in the Scorpio full moon. Some people are getting karma for that, that crap that they was doing then. So yeah, we had a Mercury retrograde that started in April 21st. So this here for some of you, Somebody tried to do something. To, I don't know why this is coming up, but it is. In in Taurus season, a Taurus could be of significance. Somebody tried to play real crazy with you back in April, and they're getting tossed up in, um, now. Somebody tried to do something around the last retrograde. And see, the last retrograde, like I mentioned before, it was in Taurus. Taurus season. Taurus season began April 20th and Mercury retrograde started on um, April 21st. And on April 19th, there was an Aries new moon. Okay, there you have it. There was a total solar eclipse in April. And then we had a partial lunar eclipse the first week of May. So I feel like because we have another Mercury retrograde, some people could have done some things, you know, that were really unfair months ago and it's coming back now because now here we are once again mercury retrograde and started on virgo the day virgo season started just two days ago there's like five planets in retrograde mercury venus i think pluto saturn and then uranus is gonna retrograde in like three days so everything is going backwards everything that people did under the child under the sun under the moon is coming out now so that was a bad idea 
This says, what you seek is within your grasp. As with all yeses, there are adjustments. Release yourself from a lingering mental prison of fear that you are not enough, that you are not worthy. You have the right key. Don't doubt it. It's time to be grateful for your teachers, even the ones whose lessons you didn't necessarily like. Past lovers, past employees, bullies, cyber, cyber stalkers all had lessons to teach you. Incredibly, when you meditate on gratitude for these lessons, the struggles around you dissipate. The key to opening the rest of your life hovers within your grasp. It's your it's yours to use. Yeah. See. It says that this card is drawn at a time you are seeking to step up into the next widely acknowledged level of success, whether it be career advancement, passing a test, being accepted into an institute of learning. This card in indicates that the answer is yes. This card is sacrifice says, so what can you let go of? Like I said, you're going to have to find it in your heart as hard as it may be to let go of the pain. This this card, um, you can look here at the image on this card, it may seem almost impossible, but you owe it to yourself to just completely release all of these life lessons. That's why the world is here. The world is here. You, there's a spiritual graduation and advancement for you to step out and be independent, abundant, prosperous. The sacrifice card, it says, do you feel you are being kept in the dark? Do you feel like you are buried? Redefine your thoughts to contemplate that you are not buried, but planted. Soon it will be your time to bloom, to be aware and to know. But for now, you must merge with the darkness in order to grow. It says the maiden has sacrificed her ego to become her primal self. Her reptile-like spine descends from her pineal gland and plunges deep into the earth, rooting her into the the mother's dark embrace and plugging her into Gaia's source. So see, yeah. Even with all of the darkness around you, you can still bloom and blossom. So like saying a rose can still bloom in a dark room. You have to figure out what do you want to sacrifice? What do you want to let go of? It's a, a person, a situation, or whatever. The harder the sacrifice, the greater the exponential growth. That's why sometimes I recommend detoxing, fasting. Show yourself and the most high that you're willing to give up something in order to gain. But you're really going to have to sacrifice a person, a place, thing, even your own mindset, even your, your wounded inner child. For you to actually step into this energy as this divine being, as the empress. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female. The biggest thing about the, the, the empress that's most important is the empress is an energy of receiving. Can you receive? You have to sacrifice everything that has made you so tough and resilient to be able to receive. You did receive what you needed, which was protection. You learn how to set personal boundaries. A lot of you, everything that you've gone through was all about you learning not to be codependent and not giving into these um, narcissistic energy vampires trying to drain you of everything, um, constantly just ignoring the fact that you're a human being and just taking advantage of you in every way possible. Final messages, Ace of Cups. Wow, look at that. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Will of Fortune, Nine of Cups, the Hierophant. I feel like God is pleased with your hard work. The Hierophant, for some of you, you definitely could be getting promoted in really, really great companies. Um, you're going into a time of being able to do things more traditionally. Some of you are about to start doing a lot of spiritual work. Okay, you could want to be a pastor, a preacher, a priest, a spiritualist, a tarot card reader, whatever it may be. Um, some of you, like I said, writing books. The Hierophant has people watching and listening, you sharing your story with others. But you're going into a new cycle here of wish fulfillment, happiness, the nine of cups. This is definitely like wishes coming true. It's also a lot of material abundance when 
you're in the nine of cups, meaning you're very happy. And then you have the nine of pentacles. This is saying that you're happy with yourself emotionally, financially. You're just good. Okay. Ace of cups is here. Ace of pentacles. I mean, some of you, this is a new spiritual gift that is developing. It's, uh, it's the birth of a child. It could be a marriage or a relationship. Um, a new friend. Okay. It could be anything. But the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, the, the Ace of Pentacles definitely could be like a new job or promotion. Um, you receiving, I don't know, some of you, like you're, you're going to be starting a business and you could be using your spiritual gifts or talents or abilities to start a business. It doesn't have to be spiritual. Okay, Page of Cups is coming out with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This, could, this is something creative. The Page of Cups always speaks of like a creative energy. Can also speak of a child okay but um some of you you could be start i just really get something about starting a business king of wands king of wands is usually somebody who is i mean action oriented the three of swords why is that there king of wands three of swords I'm hearing the word advocate. You could become an advocate for people who have experienced some type of heartbreak. Yeah. An advocate. Look at the Ace of Swords and then the Ace of Wands. This is a good reading. Some of you, you're becoming leaders. You're becoming some kind of advocate, a light worker, helper, healer. You're going to be helping people to heal family issues. Something is going to bring in a lot of abundance for you as well. I feel like your family, friends, your ancestors especially are very happy with whatever you are doing, sharing your truth as a part of some kind of new passionate beginning. I've been talking a long time. Look at that. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and then the Magician and the Emperor. This is going on a spiritual journey. Some of you, you have, look, the king of pentacles, the seven of swords, and the queen of pentacles are here together. For some of you, the, the reason why this seven of swords is in between the king and the queen of pentacles is actually because um, somebody could be hiding a plan. There, there could actually be some type of, of plan or strategy or like I said, you're just getting the clarity about some type of scheme, scam, plan, or strategy that has been standing in between you and someone that possibly is supposed to come together to work together. But I do feel like you guys are manifesting like you're either manifesting because you're in this divine masculine energy or you're manifesting a divine masculine who's going to go on this journey with you. This will come in when you finally move away from the things that just don't serve you and a lot of you i know you're saying i've already done that i've already done that keep doing it <laughs> and focus on manifestation yeah dropping all of the illusions here the ten of wands there's a breakthrough happening so just don't give up boom there you have it the sun don't allow yourself to be too stressed out the sun is here that means that there is happiness there is joy something is pure Okay, um, this is healing. And all of those things brings in abundance. So the death card is here. There's a major transformation so that you can move forward. Something is ending and transforming so that you can move forward. And if you notice, you have the dark horse and the white horse. When you see the chariot, that is, again, it's saying you're sacrificing something. Yeah, you've had hard times. Yeah, things have been difficult, but it's still you understanding that you learn things along the journey. So like that car we saw before, you have to be thankful for everything. But still, even though there's been dark times, wish fulfillment is ahead. The tower is here. The four of cups. I feel like spirit is saying like, stop. Stop feeling like you missed an opportunity. You haven't seen what's meant to come in. The hangman is in the reverse. To be completely honest, don't don't allow yourself to feel like you're the victim. Freedom is here for you. Seven of Wands. You're protected. You stood up for yourself. You're not a victim. You're absolutely a survivor, and it's time for you to celebrate. 